Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Mansion. Slowly getting towards the end. Sort of. Sort of slowly getting towards the end. Last episode, we built these awesome horse statues or horse tobri out the front. Love how it looks. And then we ended up doing a path and then we ended up doing a bridge and then we ended up putting like little fences around. Looks totally amazing. It really does sort of give that part of the garden a really nice touch still need to stripe the garden with the uh, lime green wool like we have everywhere else like here i uh, still got to go around and do that but it looks fabulous i might put this sort of uh leaf and fence combination down that path as well just to sort of tie it all in together and then that should basically i think pretty much finish off this front garden i think that looks so cool really really nice touch and then the only thing really left outside is the courtyard that we'll probably do next episode maybe on the inside here we have the downstairs complete all lighting all details is all complete upstairs we have a, a few bedrooms to do that i'll be doing off camera i haven't had a chance to do them yet so i haven't got anything to show you uh, but then we've got a lot of hallways to neaten up because obviously it's very dark in here for example we need to to make this look a lot better and we've got some bits like this like this wall here it's gonna be tricky to do we might just have to use some stairs and just sort of live with what we can do and like there but that shouldn't be too much of a problem hide up some of this clay on the inside add some light and stuff like that to, to really brighten it up but a popular idea that you guys have been wanting is a secret door i don't know why you guys want a secret door so much but you do you say you i want a secret door somewhere in the in the mansion aj can you do it i think we can right here i haven't tried it i haven't planned it out but basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a secret door here and then this leads to above the garage. And we're going to use this space here as like a secret games room with some arcade machines or something like that in here. The space here, uh, we're not going to use. It's too thin. You guys agreed with me in the comment section last episode that this is really too thin to be used for anything useful. Plus, from below, it gives us a really nice sort of uh, shape inside once we do this area. Uh, get some light down here as well. Should be good. However... We don't have much room for redstone. Uh, underneath here, we have the kitchen. And we have one slab uh, to be able to put redstone on. We can put redstone on this slab. And then we could hide it up, if we needed to, with some sort of carpet above it. Okay, so we could walk over this and have no idea that redstone is there if we wanted to if that is really necessary it is possible but what we're gonna have to do we're not gonna be able to get a flush door we're not gonna be able to get a flush uh redstone sort of hidden door here uh, but i think we could sort of get something somewhere so obviously bookshelves really really cool to do and i think we're gonna have to put them here so we're gonna need and I might have to keep them two blocks as well to make things easier. So I'm going to have to go into this wall here. And then put the bookshelves on top. Now when we power these. Boop. And boop. And boop. <laughs> we hide up the, uh, uh, the area. We can put some snow above here as well. And that makes it pretty good. Like nice blocked up area. And then... Ta-da, it's open, okay? But we need a way, one, to hide up these pistons. Well, that's no problem. We can sort of do something like that to hide up the pistons, and then it's pretty good, at least when it's open. In fact, we could do something like that, and then when the bookshelves close, you just have this sort of indent of two. Shouldn't really be too much of a problem. We'll see what it looks like. Uh, however, we need to somehow have these pistons on... By default okay so we need to have them on and then turn them off when we need to like by stepping on a pressure plate or something so we can do that like we done it a minute ago by doing that so now they're closed off with only two torches and then let me bust through here again we'll need maybe a if we use a pressure plate we do have a problem like we could put a pressure plate down here but we can have the redstone here 
with the redstone here, look. Boop. And it powers it. We can hide that up with uh, carpets, as we said. But we need to somehow get it underneath the bookshelves. Now, we can't have redstone here because when the bookshelves open up, uh, you're going to fall down this area and we can't put carpets above it because uh, the pistons wouldn't be able to close because the carpet would be in the way. So maybe if we use repeaters like that, it should be able to pass a current through and then oops, we should be able to draw the current back out with another repeater on the other side. Okay, so now we can grab a carpet and make, uh, where's carpets? <laughs> Come here, carpets. Uh, and make a rug so we can shift click on top of those and uh, maybe go all the way along or something like that just for the moment. We'll find a way to really make it aesthetically pleasing. But that now brings the power all the way through. And then we want to hook both of these up together. So no matter what pressure plate you stand on, both these redstone will light up and then we need a way to turn off these uh, torches now to turn the torches off isn't really a problem we can just put an input in like this and an input in like this and i think doing it on this level should be good because again we can cover it up with carpet and this should open up when we need to so we can now cover this up we can put our bookshelves back Oops. There and there. And then we walk over it. They open up. Wonderful. Okay. We can't get back through yet. Oof. <laughs> we'll figure that out in a minute. One problem at a time. So let's hide up these pistons now. We want bookshelf there. And we want bookshelf here. Maybe above it as well. Or something like that. I know it, it, it looks like a... It does look like there's a door there. Don't don't get me wrong. It's not it's not completely uh, hidden, uh, but we have to sort of bear with our limits. This house is never designed to really hold redstone in it. If you want to make a house that's designed to be redstone oriented, I recommend doing walls that are three block thick, because then you can hide redstone in between it. Let's come on to the other side here, and we should be able to get a way to open this up from the other side pretty easily. Just by, if I put pressure plates directly on top of these, it would work. The only problem is, is I can't put a pressure plate directly on top of redstone. So do we, I could do them, I could do it here. I could do it there, have carpet on this. Have pressure plates on there. No, I couldn't do it. There. I could, could. I don't want to go too low. Like we're already breaking into red uh, into garage space here. But I can't do it like that. That power. Oh, it does. Do I need those there? Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. You got a sort of sprint. Oh, actually, it's timed quite well. How long does it stay open for? Well, that works. Yeah. Okay. We can get in and out. We have a hidden uh, a hidden uh, walkway in here. Wonderful. Marvellous. I don't think that looks too weird from here either. You can see that there's a door there, but hmm, it's okay, isn't it? So let's try and dress this place up a little bit. I'm so chuffed. I've got a big old smile on my face now. So we want to have some chairs if we're going to like make a mini library area here. We definitely want to have like a, a chair there. Maybe a little table down the side with some black carpet on top. There's a nice tabletop on here. Something like that. You know, you can place your book down on there. Uh, maybe have one here. That looks pretty nice as well. Lighting. Lighting's important down this hallway. Uh, you, after you guys have been talking about beacons, I really like using beacons for lighting. Uh, at first, I was really uncomfortable with the obsidian look underneath it. But you don't really see it that much. It's surprising. It is floating at the moment. We need to put a half slab above that. 
but that gives us, that's pretty good, that's two blocks away from the bookshelf, and two blocks away from the wall on either side, so if we do one there, we get this in line with that double window here, so we could put like a section of four, in. we might be able to do like a section of floor four in there as well, Ugh. <laughs> I've been pressing Y to jump recently because I've been playing an awful lot of Fallout off camera just for fun. And uh, yeah, <laughs> and now I'm pressing Y to jump in Minecraft too. So we've got three blocks on the side, three blocks here and three blocks here. However, when we do this wall, it's going to be two blocks. And uh, when we do this wall here, it's going to be two blocks. So... It's also going to cover up that wall when we uh, cover up half this window when we do that wall, which is going to be really frustrating unless we do something similar like how we did at the bottom and just left that blank. Hmm. Like. Oops. This isn't going to look great, but I don't like having it just visible like it is. I really don't like that. I don't think I like that curve either. I think I prefer it like that and then grab some red clay to try and match up that pattern and then maybe just snow above it see what that looks like oh we want some green as well don't we some green at the top here uh green very christmasy that actually doesn't look too bad oops yeah, that looks fine. I know we have this one. In fact, if I swap that out for that, that'll look better. I know we have this one block of the exterior color clay uh, down this side. But if we block it up, it, it covers half the window, which looks terrible from the inside. It makes everything look odd and will look terrible from the outside because half the window will be blocked up. So we don't really have too much, too much of a choice. We put the red in there and then put the white up to there. Put the green above here. Oh, that looks so cool. Oh, that looks really, really cool. What if we put just a half slab of white underneath here? Just to join the white up. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. What if... We done... This. Do I prefer this more or less? What does it look like from the outside? It looks okay from the inside, but you can't really see it too well. I think I like it. I think I like using the stairs. Ooh, there it is. Yeah, that looks okay. That looks good. Definitely brightening up this place now. And then we need sort of one more collection of lights. Maybe just a single one because we can't do another two by two in line because it'll be up against the wall. It'll be there. Which doesn't look that great. But maybe we could do a section of four just off on the tilt a little bit. That looks pretty good. Along here we need to very carefully... Oh, there we go. You know that's easier, isn't it? <laughs> Put the stairs down like this. There we go. That covers up that sort of edge there uh, nice and flushly. I like that. Above here, I think the best block is probably going to be uh, a chiseled quartz block. As it's got a really nice pattern, we can take the four out above the lights, put those down, and it just looks like it's meant to be. So we stick those down like that. Those down like this. Perfect. Now the lights are all hooked up. I really like that. It's definitely bright enough down this hallway. Now that looks really cool. Now that we've got the lights in, definitely. So we've just got the walls and any other sections here. Like, what do we want here? There's enough space for something here. Maybe a dark oak table going along here. Like, something like that. We don't want it too big because we don't want to make this too, too claustrophobic. But like a little table in here, maybe even curving it around this edge. Make it like a little bit of a desk. A plant pot with a, not a red flower because of the red wall behind it, but maybe a yellow flower right on, not a red one, a yellow one, right on there. Yeah, 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 that looks okay, doesn't it? Mm-hmm, 
Mm -hmm. And then we're going to need some paintings to really dress it up. We're going to need some string and some grey carpet for our shelves, if we can fit them in anywhere. Uh, let's have a nice two... Yeah. Yeah, sweet. Perfect. Okay, I like that one. A uh, single one there. Yeah, just a single one. Uh, just a single one right there. I don't really want them the same. Perfect. A nice double one. Yes. And then a double. Oh, oh, that would have been nice, actually. Oh, that would have been really nice. If I can get another two by two, at least. If I can get that same one, I'll be like super. That's pretty nice, actually, as well. Yeah. Two sort of fire themed paintings in here. That looks pretty good. And uh, the paintings know exactly what I need. That is totally amazing. Let's grab the grey, dark grey wool carpet back. Because we've got the dark grey here. So we might as well put the dark grey there as well. To try and sort of make that very similar. And what if we join this up like this? I know we've got the pressure plates in between. But that shouldn't matter too much. Hey. I sort of like this. Join them up to each door. That one. This one. Oh, and then it's, it's the three wide door here. Don't! Oh! Okay, something like that. Hey, I like that. That looks really comfy. You know, you can walk over that. Feels good on your feet. Um, mm, I think that's pretty good. i tell you what I'm half tempted to do, though. Is actually replace this with um, another color. And then have dark gray around the outside. Like I'm tempted to maybe replace it with a white. Or maybe just add black around the edge. Just try that. See what it looks like. I really like the feel of having carpet down this hallway. And then we can swap this out for a black wool block. Oh no we can't. We can't. Ah oh, shoot. Because that's the, the floor below it. Um, and I can't there either. No. Hmm. We're going to have to live with that then, unfortunately. And if I take the signs away, I can put those there. And I think that's much more worthwhile. And then have this down this way. I could put that there. Oh, that looks so cool. What a cool color scheme. We've got here, and then what if we went like that? I like it. I really like it. And then anywhere that we can have some shelves, we can put carpet directly on top of it now. Like that. And maybe a double one. In fact, if we take those away, we can put the carpet there and then just have the shelf here instead. And then it matches up like that. Yeah, lovely, lovely. Pick up that carpet. Bing. Ooh. Oh, scared me. Whew. <laughs> and then we'll have one more here as well. Like that. Just nice double high. Yeah, look at that. Really filled out that spot completely. Very, very happy. Very, very happy. So we've got one bedroom there to do. We've got a waste of space closet here. That I, I'll just put some... I don't know, some junk in there or something like that. We have our actual library here that I'm so pleased with. Oh, yeah, we can use item frames on the edge of that seat, can't we? There and there, just to get some arms on it. And then around here, I might actually continue this rug through here because I really like how that looks. But we do have this room to do. We've got our YouTube recording room. Some people are saying that this could be a music room. The only trouble is, is we d we built a piano very recently, or not not too far back at least, on Build Battles, on the Build Battle series, on the Hypixel server, we've done a, a piano. We re quickly realised that a piano has to be fairly large in order to look like a piano, otherwise it just doesn't look like a piano. <laughs> so, uh, m a music thing is very hard. We could even make this into a music room, which a, a few other people have suggested. I tell you what, we'll try it. Okay, we'll try it. We'll try making this into a music room. Try building a little piano, maybe a little drum set or something like that. And we'll see what you guys say. Okay, we'll see what you guys say. We do have this corridor that needs to be done. This is a, a bedroom through here. Nice little thin one. 
Again, we might use this same sort of grey and black carpet design through here. Need to do all the lighting on this side, but we do have a bedroom here. Nice sized bedroom, in fact. This wall to do, which we done uh, earlier on this episode on the other side, so we know that we can do that nicely. And then we've already built our master bedroom, and uh, we've got an ensuite to do up here as well. And then... Just a little courtyard. If you guys enjoyed the episode, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode. Bye!